sekta kwa yote yameshughulikiwa alisema kwamba walilenga kuyaangazia mambo ambayo yanahusiana sana sana na janga la corona na jinsi wa hudumu afya wanaathirika kipindi hiki na masuala mengine yataangaziwa na asasi husika kwa hivyo sasa hivi uh, ule mgomo ambao walikuwa wametoa siku moja kwamba utafanyika umepangwa kufanya kufanyika tarehe sita eh, kuanzia tarehe sita mwezi Disemba. Swala hili tunataka kuliangazia kwa mapana hata zaidi uh, na wageni wetu hapa studioni. Kwanza kabisa nianze na daktari Ubrin Mora ambaye ni daktari katika hospitali ya Nairobi. Uh, Shukrani sana daktari kwa kuungana nasi uh, katika mahojiano ya hii leo. Um, E, tulikuwa tunakuuliza mtazamaji je wewe binafsi unaona kwamba wahudumu wa afya wanashughulikiwa ipasavyo hasa kipindi hiki cha corona je uh, mtazamaji unaona wahudumu wa afya wanashughulikiwa ipasavyo katika kipindi hiki cha corona na tunataka kuliangazia swala hili uh, kwa mapana hata zaidi uh, wakati huu ambapo wametishia kuingia mgomoni David David anasema wahudumu wa afya wanafaa kuzingatiwa na Wizara ya Afya kwa kuji uh -huh. kuendelea kufanya kazi uh, katika janga hili la corona na wapewe haki yao unatuambia kwamba unatazama ukiwa katika uh, mpaka wa namanga shukrani sana kwa kutazama uh, mzalendo Tomkin Baraza anasema la wahudumu wa afya wamepewa kisogo sana licha ya kwamba wanafanya kazi katika mazingira hatari wangepewa bima ya matibabu ya corona na marupurupu zaidi uh, mwingine anasema uh, ni Vini Jobs anasema kwamba viongozi wa Afrika hawana utu hata kidogo hawajali maisha ya wengine na the night nurse anasema bila shaka lakini wizara ya afya na magatuzi ni sharti wajizatiti ili kuepuka na maambukizi miongoni mwa wafanyakazi wa afya je huo binafsi unadhani kwamba maslahi ya wahudumu wa afya yameshughulikiwa ifavo E, kuna mwingine hapa ni coach Ronald kutoka Kabarnet anasema maslahi ya wahudumu wa Wizara ya Afya upewa ahadi ambazo si sahihi kwa hivyo hawashughulikiwi. Mtazamaji endelea kututumia kauli hizo tutakuwa tukiangazia swala hili e, kwa mapana hata zaidi e, kuna hiyo barua ambayo imetumwa kwa mkuu wa watumishi kwa wa mkuu wa utumishi kwa umma Joseph Kinywa ambayo umetumwa na uh, wakuu wa KMPDU uh, na kutiwa saini na daktari Chibanzi Mwachonda ambaye ni kaimu uh, katibu mkuu wa KMPDU uh, kwamba ile notisi ambayo waliitoa kwamba wangeingia mgomoni endapo uh, matakwa yao hayatashughulikiwa jinsi ifavo uh, na kwamba wametishia kuwa wataingia mgomoni katika kipindi cha siku 21 zijazo ambayo ni kuanzia tarehe sita mwezi Disemba eh, kabla ya stage wa shirikisha wageni wetu tupate ile kauli ya waziri mtahikago kuambatana na mkutano ambao ulifanyika asubuhi ya leo kati ya Wizara ya Afya na wa wasimamizi ama wakuu wa KMPDU In the last few days there has been concerns about insurance cover which is the reason the insurance cover cover another medical request that have been made and demands that have been made by the KMPDU. And this morning, in consultation now with the unions, with the doctors' unions, we have instructed the National Insurance Hospital Fund to quickly conclude the negotiations for comprehensive group life, last expense, enhanced work and injury benefits, and group personal accident cover for COVID-19 as approved by the cabinet and announce the conclusion and effectiveness of those insurance benefits tomorrow. How do we ensure that whether there is a strike notices or not, that the health workers are safe and the health workers are secure? Because, you know, every sector is losing people. As I have said in my speech, politicians are losing people. Everybody is losing people. But we want to make sure that the people who protect us, you know, are the ones that are, uh, that are secure or they are a special case because of that particular uh, aspect. And therefore, for example, tomorrow, as I said, uh, the meeting is to straighten out on all insurance matters, and that will be done on the matters to do with the PPEs is to straighten out to make sure that uh, there is no health worker who loses 
uh, his or her life because of a PPE, and I can assure you they shouldn't because they are enough. Um, the issues to do uh, with uh, the safety of their families and their own safety. And therefore, and the compensation thereof in the event of a problem. So that's the issue of, of, of discussion that I engaged um, uh, them today. But I also took the opportunity, I took the opportunity to urge our healthcare workers to please remember that we are in a very abnormal situation so that even as, our, as we address the, the, the demands that are being made, let's address the demands that can also ensure that we save lives, that we save our people's lives. Anybody passing on, any doctor, is somebody's sister or brother, any market woman is somebody's mother or sister, anybody take driving the riding a border border is similarly a brother or a sister, is a, is a brother or somebody's father. So we are saying that everybody is important, but we want to make sure that um, we, 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 we take a special classification of, uh, of doctors. We have said, and I give a narrative, that even in war, civilians get killed. And that's a fact. Children lose lives. But what we always do is ensure that our armies are looked after because they are the ones who can save those who are left. Na mtazamaji uh, daktari Alan Ochanji ambaye ni naibu mwenyekiti wa KMPD atakuwa kitueleza mengi zaidi uh, kwa nini uh, mgomo umeitishwa tena utafanyika tarehe kuanzia tarehe sita ilhali wamekuwa na mkutano na wizara ni kwamba hawajaridhika na yale ambayo yameafikiwa hii leo mojawapo ya maswala ambayo waliyataka sana ni kuwa na bima ya matibabu na pia kuhakikisha kwamba wana vifaa vya kujikinga dhidi ya virusi vya corona ikiwa mojawapo ya matakwa moja ambayo wame ya we kwa kwenye barua ambayo ilitumwa kwa mkuu wa utumishi kwa umma Joseph Kinywa tunaye daktari Alan Ochanji ambaye yuko katika studio zetu katikati mwa jiji shukrani sana daktari kwa kuwa nasi hii leo kwanza kabisa mkutano ambao ulifanyika kati ya wizara na KMPDU uliafikia matunda yoyote uh, kwa mujibu wa yale ambayo tumesikia kutoka kwa waziri wa afya hii leo daktari unanipata naam zubeda na mshukrani sana kwa kuwa nasi hii leo. Nakupata. Uh, madhumuni ya ule mkutano ambao ulifanyika yes. kati ya KMPDU na Wizara ya Afya mapema hii leo uh, yalikuwa nini na je? Matakwa yenu yaliweza kuafikiwa uh, kulingana na yale matakwa ambayo mlikuwa mmeyaorodhesha na yale ambayo yamesemwa na Waziri wa Afya hii leo ni miongoni mwa ma mambo ambayo mliweza kukubaliana kwa ukamilifu. Nam asante Zubeida. Um, mkutano kati yetu na uh, Wizara ya Afya uh, ilikuwa inawania ile tuna, tunaisema formally formally uh, kuwajulisha yale matakwa yetu tulienda pale tukaelezea mmoja kwa moja yale madaktari yale manases na wale wauguzi wengine wote wanaotaka tulieleza kiwazi ya kwamba tunataka bima ya afya tunataka fidia tunataka vile vifakinga na hizo vitu zote za kutuwezesha kufanya kazi mpaka wa sasa azijafanyika na kinangobaga na kwa uwazi tunasema kwamba sisi kile tunajua siku ishirini na moja itakapo kuisha bila matakwa yote kushughulikiwa tutashiriki tutashiriki katika mgomo wa kitaifa na uh, kulingana na yale ambayo waziri Kagwe ameeleza taifa ni kwamba mazungumzo ama ameshauri NHIF kuangazia uh, yale mahitaji ya kuhakikisha kwamba mna bima ya afya kuona kwamba mtu anapofariki uh, kuna fidia na mambo kama hayo mwafaka ambao unastahili kutolewa hapo kesho je hamridhiki na yale ambayo ameyatangaza hii leo Hatuna ubaya na tumesema kiwazi kwamba tuko tiyari kwa masungumzo. Wakati wote tutakapoitwa tutaenda. Lakini ijulikane kiwazi ya kwamba mazungumzo yoyote lazima iziazingatie na ishughulikie yale matakwa yetu. Tumesikia venye unasema 
uh, watu wa bima ya afya ya NHF watakutana kesho hayo ni mazungumzo tu tunahitaji vitendo tunataka kuona ya kwamba madaktari wote wa uguzi wote wamepewa bima ya afya ya kitaifa ya NHF whether ako kwa serikali ama ako kwa stari ya kibinafsi na mpaka hiyo ifanyike sisi tutaonea kwa umbali mikakati zote ni serikali itaweka hivi sasa tukiongea na wewe hiyo haijafanywa na mpaka ifanyike tunaweza kusema hayo ni mazungumzo tu hazijafikia kikomo na, ni jambo la aibu ya kwamba daktari ama muuguzi anajitokeza anaenda pale kwa hospitali anafanya kazi kwa uaminifu ila yeye mwenyewe akigonjeka aezi pata uh, ile huduma ya afya sasa dayetekanaje mfanye kazi aende na kufe bila hata nje yote ya kuongeja fidia na nini ambacho kinakupa shaka ama nini ambacho kinawapa shaka kama KMPDU kwamba hili huenda lisitimie kwa sababu alipozungumza alizungumza kwa uhakika sana na akasema na wahakikishia hili litatimia uh, hasa kuambatana na maswala ya bima je ni kwamba ni mazungumzo ambayo yamefanyika awali na yakakosa kosa kutimizwa au nini haswa ambacho kinawapatia ile shaka uh, kwamba hili huenda ni maneno matupu ambayo hauenda yasitimie Wajua Zubeda aliyeumwa na nyoka akiona kamba ushtuka. Si mara ya kwanza tumefanya mazungumzo na Wizara ya Afya wakaja baadaye wakageuka. Si mara ya kwanza tumetoa matakwa yetu kinanga ubaga na kwa mchana na kwa upe yakawa yale matakwa yote yakapuuziliwa mbali. Kwa hivyo mpaka ile wakati haya matakwa yatashughulikiwa tutaona kwa umbali mikakati zote ya serikali. Hivi sasa tukiongea na wewe kuna ile document inaitwa CBI tuliyoandikisha na serikali na ikapelekwa kotini mpaka wa leo haijashughulikiwa kikamilifu. Kwa hivyo tuko na shaka ya kwamba uenda serikali inatupea ile tunaita lip service kutufurahisha kutufurahi kama wafanyakazi ila wa Kenya wanaendelea kukufa. Mbunge marehemu alikufa pale Kakamega kwa sababu akukua na oxygen. Tunaongea jo hii maneno wakati ambapo tunasikia fununu ya kwamba karibu takriban milioni bilioni 14 zimetengewa BBI na referendum. Je, nani aliturogga? Daktari unajua unapozungumza hivyo uh, na kuwa na wasiwasi si kama mtangazaji bali kama mwa, mwa, mkenya kwa sababu alipozungumza uh, la siri ya leo waziri kagu alionekana kuwa uh, ni kama amefurahia matunda ya mazungumzo ambayo mlikuwa nayo asubuhi ya leo hebu tupambie picha ya mkutano ambao mlikuwa nao ulikuwa vipi uh, ni ule mkutano ambao tunasema ulitoa ni... uh, moshi mweupe au ilitoka mlitoka pale kama hamjakubaliana kuhusu chochote kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anaonekana ana furaha kwamba mmekubaliana kuhusu baadhi ya matakwa ni kwambie hivi Zubeda mgomo haujaanza mgomo utaanza baada ya siku ishirini na moja ikiwa matakwa hayatakuwa yameshughulikiwa hivi sasa katika hizi siku 21 yenye tulitoa ilani tuko tayari kwa mazungumzo yoyote ikiwa baada tutakaa chini tena baada ya siku 21 na, na tuanze kuangalia moja kwa moja je madaktari na waaguzi wamepewa bima ya afya ndio ama la je tuko na vifaa kinga vya kutosha ndio ama la je kuna fidia ikiwa mfanyikazi atapoteza maisha yake ndio ama la ikiwa kutakuwa na uh, matako hayatakuwa yameshughulikiwa kwa wakati huo tutaingia kwa mgono hivi sasa ni wakati wa mazungumzo tuko pale tutazungumza ikiwa hatutaelewana tutaenda kwa mgomo ni matumaini yangu kwamba labda tutapata suluhisho na Uh, mgomo usifanyike lakini ikiwa hali itabaki venye iko sahihi kwa hakika tutaenda kwa mgomo
Umetaja pale kwamba kuna wengi wanaaga dunia kutokana na ukosefu wa oksijeni hasa wale ambao wanaathirika na virusi vya corona. Tutakuwa tukirudi na mingi zaidi mudo soko mrefu. Kwa sababu kwa mujibu wa yale ambayo waziri ameyasema, vifa hakinga mbapo mnavidai vipo, na ndiposa akaagiza serikali za county kuchukua au kununua kupitia kemsa kwa sababu vifa hivi vipo. Iweje kwamba vipo, lakini wahudumu wa apia, afya humu nchini hawa vipati. Eh, na watu wanaaga kutokana na ukosefu wa oksijeni. Imefikia wapi kwamba tukajipata pale kama taifa. Tazamaji tunakuliza, unadhani wahudumu wa afya wameshugulikiwa inavo stahili humu nchini hasa kipindi hiki cha corona. Tunarudi na mingi zaidi mudo soko mrefu na kusihi usiondoki.